Hello everyone, this is G and I'm back with the second video of the night, so Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, oh Bill Burr, he's been getting into trouble recently. First, there were some uh, internet, Twitter reactionaries online uh, getting upset that he dared say anything positive about Gina Carano, right, in this uh in her uh, post-firing, right? He spoke positively of her during her time on The Mandalorian. And he didn't even mention her by name, but everybody knew who he was talking about, right? And, you know, the uh, Twitter reactionaries who you expect to get mad got mad and tried to cancel him. Now they're trying to cancel him again for apparently some comments he made during the Grammys. So given that I don't watch the Grammys, I decided to look up a news article and see exactly what it is he said that got... Twitter, all of Twitter. What in the world did he say that got their jimmies ruffled? Well, according to this article, which I believe is from the New York Post, so not exactly the best newspaper in New York City, but every newspaper in New York City these days is a rag. But anyway, <coughs> it says, Bill Burr's 2021 Grammys prediction came true after social media users ripped the prescient? Never had heard of that word. <laughs> Comedian over his controversial presentation at the pre-recorded awards show Sunday. While presenting the honor for Best Tropical Latin Album, the 52-year-old funny man joked that feminists are like going nuts and wondered, why is the cis white male doing all this Latino stuff? Sounds pretty milk toast to me. And I, I would actually make the same observation, especially like he said. He's white, this, he's hosting the Latino category. There's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, it's like, wouldn't you just get a Latino actor or actress or artist? I mean, you know, why wouldn't you? <laughs> but anyway, it says here, the F is for family creator has had kicked off the speech by quipping that he wanted to kill himself during a protracted piano performance that preceded his appearance. Okay, so it sounds fairly milk toast to me. Let's see what, the, what this continues to say. Burr slipped up again in mispronouncing the name of the best regional uh, Mexican music album, including Tejano, winner Natalia La For La Forcare. I'm guessing. I can't. I'm not good at languages either, so <laughs> I'm not surprised that he would mess it up. So quoting him, it says, I can't say the name. The Grammy goes to Natalia Laforcade. Or he might have said La Laforcade. I have no idea what he said. But I would believe that, that the proper pronunciation is La, La Forcade. The fumbling funny man said, I will accept on behalf of her. If I butchered her name, I'm sorry, Natalia, you won. Needless to say, the social media masses excoriated the prophetic stand-up for allegedly not taking his presenter gig seriously. So they're upset because he admitted that he's a bit out of his depth, out of his element in, as he noted, being the white man who's hosting, or at least was the host for the Latino music segment. So y'all are upset with him for being bad at speaking a language that he didn't grow up speaking because he's not from South America. He's... A born and bred U.S. citizen? Like, what are y'all so angry about? Like, it, like here's the thing. A few years ago, I think it was uh, John Travolta. I think he was at an awards show, and I think he said Idina Menzel's name wrong or something, and people razzed him for a week or two. And then we moved on. These days, you admit that, hey, I'm a bit out of my depth here. <laughs> I sort of the odd man out, literally. But, and, and, and now they're attempting to cancel him again, right? Because he admitted that he doesn't know how to say the woman's name. <laughs> so he's honest about a situation. And oh no, let's cancel him. But anyway, right? So there have been people online ever since this happened saying that, oh, he's a sexist, he's a racist, he's homophobic, he's xenophobic, he's a this, he's a that. Well, here's what's happened. Right? 
Oh, I almost, I almost forgot about this image. I forgot what, what, what's known in my own video, right? But as you can see here, right, the Latin rock or alternative album, you have Fora by Bajo Fondo, Monstro by Cami, or Cami, 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 uh, Sobre Volando by Cultura Profetia, La Conquista de Espacio, Espacio, Fito Paez, Miss Colombia, Lido Pimenta. You see, as you can see here, I'm struggling. And I work at a Latino dominant uh, institution, and yet even I'm struggling to pronounce these terms. Maybe because, you know, I didn't grow up speaking Spanish, right? But anyway, continuing. Right, so as, as this tweet says here, you know, Gen Z calling Bill Burr a racist. As I, as I said earlier, that and a bunch of other things, but yes, they've been calling him a racist. And then it says here, Bill Burr and his beautiful wife, Nia. Or is it Naya? I don't know how it's said. <laughs> right, I've heard it both ways. But anyway, as we can see here, a beautiful, lovely couple. So here's what's been happening. Right? You get this tweet from Claiborne Griffin. I don't know who the hell he is. I don't much care. Right? But it says here, while I'm not suggesting Bill Burr is a racist, which means right here the rest of the tweet is going, it's going to be about suggesting Bill Burr is a racist. A white man having a non-white wife can sometimes be a sign of racism. So you're immediately calling him a racist because he married outside of his race. So you shouldn't assume someone isn't racist just because they own a minority sex servant. And now you are demeaning her to the role of sex servant. So let's see here. You're quite literally demeaning both of them down to master and slave. And I don't mean in the handcuffs, handcuffs and leather sense. You're literally demeaning them both to master and slave. You're claiming that she's his property. And you're reducing her and her role in their relationship as the wife down to her being simply a sex object. So not only are you, Claiborne Griffin, being a out-and-out, -out, blatant, raging racist, you are also being a raging sexist and misogynist by demeaning his wife in such a fashion. You're demeaning her on the basis of her race and you're demeaning her on the basis of her gender, referring to her as a sex servant, right? Referring to their relationship that you know nothing about, right? You're not a part of their lives. Reducing it to simply, what, the modern day version of like Ben Franklin sleeping with, with one of his house slaves? Is that what you're trying to infer? Because that seems like what you're trying to infer about two people's relationship that you don't know jack about jack about, right? So and then he finishes up with, uh, they may very well have one because they're racist. Now here's the thing, is fetish fetishization a thing? Yes, that does exist. Sometimes people do marry outside of their race or they marry a certain person because uh, the person looks exotic or whatever, but there's no indication that the relationship between Bill Burr and his wife, Nia, is anything like that. And to automatically assume that without knowing anything about their relationship is just insulting to the both of them. And the crazy thing is that, although you're not going to see it here, but you can check the links, there were people in this comment, right, going down, trying to actually support this comment support this line of thinking, saying that, well, just because he married a black woman, it doesn't mean that he isn't racist. What proof do you have that he is? Because him struggling to pronounce names in a language and, and, and that are from a culture that he did not grow up in, that, that he does not speak, is not proof of anything other than that he struggled to speak a language he doesn't speak. <laughs> <clears throat> or rather say names in a language he doesn't speak. If they wanted somebody who could pronounce it properly, they probably should have hired the numerous, you know, Latino actors and actresses and entertainers that are in 
Hollywood. You couldn't bring Ricky Martin on? Even virtually? Come on. All right, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right, so this you have this blatantly, disgustingly uh, racist uh, comment, racist and sexist in my opinion, from Claiborne Griffin here, who's apparently some sort of comedian or whatever. I don't much care. All right, and so here's what happened. Bill's wife found it. Ooh! Bill's beautiful wife, Nia, found this tweet and she retweeted it. And as you can say, it says, uh, uh, you can see what it says here, but it's profane. Let's just put it that way. I'm trying to keep it clean here. I'm trying to be a good girl and keep it clean here today. Right? But she's basically telling him to shut the F up, as he should. And then he tries to backpedal because he now, because he knows now he's stepping in it, right? He knows now he has stepped in it royally, <laughs> right? And then it says, uh, uh, he says down here, as I mentioned, I'm not referring to you or Bill. I don't know you two. Oh, really? If you're not referring to her and Bill, then why in the world did you put her husband's name in your tweet? Did you really think she wasn't going to hear about this and not find out? Do you know how defensive a woman can and will become when her man is insulted? Like, brother, not even brother, because, But you started this fight. And this is another thing. There are a few things I want to touch upon here. First of all, this guy has no idea about their relationship, right? Now, I looked up Bill, Bill Burr and I looked up Nia, right? Not that I know anything about the relationship either, right? But she's 42 years old. He's 52, right? And as someone who grew up in the black community, right, with black women, I can tell you that it's more likely than not that she would have faced some pretty strong opposition from people in her life, from people in her family. I'm not going to say definitively that she did. I'm just saying that it's more likely than not that she would have faced some sort of pretty strong opposition from at least one person, maybe a grandparent or her mother or her father or something, about why, marrying a white man who is 10 years her senior. Because here's the thing about the black community, dating outside of your race and marrying outside of your race, uh, especially when it's a white person, is an incredibly uh, touchy subject for the black community, even to this day. It was actually a subject that was regularly mentioned in music at the uh, back in the day. Free Your Mind, for example, brings it up. It was uh, uh, mentioned in films like Waiting to Exhale, right? Uh, it was even in TV. The the TV shows like say uh, Fresh Fresh Prince even had an episode about I think it's Will's mother, like dating or re remarrying. And, uh, or is it Viv's sister? It's one of them, right? But someone in the Banks family, right? Someone on Will's Philly side of the family um, was uh, in a relationship and remarrying and, and they were going to marry a white guy. I think this even came up a bit on Martin. Not, not that I remember the episode, but I do remember the episode where Martin goes, goes to court and he tries to accuse a uh, white officer of pulling him over for driving while uh, black and the officer who's this very thick southern drawl, right? He's like, honey, stand up, stand up for the court, honey. And you see that he's married to this beautiful older black woman and Martin just stares in shock, right? But my point in all this is that this is something that uh, was an issue that, that needed to be addressed uh, it's been a very touchy subject in the black community, and, and it's been featured and talked about in black media back in the 90s, and it's still a big thing today. One second, because my cat keeps walking in and out the room. Sorry about that. He won't stay in place. Pick a side, man. But anyway. <coughs> All right, so he has no idea. Mr. Claiborne here has no idea what she may have possibly gone through, right? Uh, what opposition, opposition she may have faced just in marrying Bill, right? 
because in the black community, if if a generally speaking, of course individuals are different, but if a white if a if a black woman marries a white man, it's seen as oh the white man stealing our, our women again, <laughs> right? And if a black man marries a white woman, well then it's seen as oh you can't handle a sister, can you? Or you think that 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 she's better than than that we are because it's it's a popular trend. It's this weird trend like with athletes to to marry white women, right? So the issues are on are on both sides of it. And again, like I said, very touchy. Not something that I could really talk about, um, at least not in this video, right? Got to move on. But again, he has no idea what they went through or what she went through to be able to be together. And they've been married for about seven, eight years now. They got, Bill and Naya got married in 2013 from what I read, right? So I can certainly understand why she's telling them off. And here's the thing, Clay Lucky, because... It's the thing. It's like, first of all, you should not insult people needlessly of any gender or any ethnicity. But it's like, you especially don't do it with a black woman. We're kind of sort of famous and infamous for our very bad tempers. As someone who grew up in a black household, I can tell you this is very true. I have been around black women all my life. This is true. Not all of us, but a lot of us do have very bad tempers. Let me just show you some examples. Remember back in the mid 1990s when Lisa left I Lopez of TLC burned her boyfriend's house down, man. Do you remember that? <laughs> remember, you know, waiting to exhale and the famous, you know, setting his clothes in the car on fire scene. Remember soul food when they get into an argument and uh, I think this is this is Vanessa Williams, isn't it? It's somebody. Right, but she finds out that her husband's been sleeping around and so she grabs a knife and <laughs> starts trying to stab him. Right? Right? And then, of course, you have, you know, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. There's a reason why Tyler Perry named it Diary of a Mad Black Woman. <laughs> the character of Medea always has um, uh, a pistol in hand, okay? We can get that crazy. I have to be honest with you, right? We don't do the whole thing like, you know, Carrie Underwood talking about, you know, I took a Louisville slugger to the car. Like, no, 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 no. We don't do that. <laughs> we destroy the car. We make sure you can never get it fixed. So it's like, why, oh, why, oh, why would you pick fight with her via insulting her husband? Like, why? Why? You don't want to, you shouldn't make anyone angry needlessly, but especially a black woman, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't make a black woman mad at you for no reason. You will regret this. <laughs> right? Given what I've seen and, and heard and stories I've been told in life about the black woman's temper, believe me, he's getting off easy just by him, uh, uh, or rather her, insulting him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Believe me. Uh, she could do a lot worse. She could do a hell of a lot worse than just uh, cursing him out. She's being kind by just cursing him out in my personal uh, opinion. But I want to end the video with this message here. Interracial love is not racist. It literally created me. It molded me. It created my favorite pairing in Marvel Comics. Free your mind, and the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. But anyway, that's the video. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye.